Alright. Hey there guys, your friends from here, and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play The Simpsons Hit and Run. I was going to start this episode talking to, uh, Ralph over there for a bonus race, but, uh, along the way, I remembered, or rather I noticed, that I forgot to, <laughs> oh god, that I forgot to, uh, collect that card, and I kind of wish I didn't after seeing that, but... Uh, we have some more cars to get. So let's grab that. Fire truck. Should we take it? Should we take it out on the race? Yeah, let's take it out on the race. Why not? Haven't you ever wanted a, fi a football player coming in on a fire truck to save the day? I'm pretty sure everyone wants that. We have another box up here and another wasp for that matter. I, s I promise this will be the end of the exploration. I just want to continue around this main area. Just a wee... Eh? Eh? N no. No. We'll get our chance. We'll have our chance to explore this area. I know that. So, that'll be all for now. So, uh... The fire truck... It has okay speed. Three stars. But it has half a star of acceleration. And, uh... Hi, Mr. Lisa. Well, well, we can talk to Bart in a moment. Three stars, five star of toughness, which is good. Three stars of speed, which is surprisingly good, but half a star of acceleration and not too good handling either. I can't remember the exact amount though, but whatever. Hi, Mr. Lisa. If you win, the man ladies will give you a car. Bring it. All right, another checkpoint race. So that's pretty good. Five, 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 four. Oh, bless his heart. Oh no, no, no. this is the difficult one. So. I was thinking it, it's Millhouse that just has the standard uh, oh, get to the checkpoints and be done. So yeah, these checkpoints are surprisingly cool. generous because you can uh, you can basically stay in the other lane and still get them, which you might want to do. We actually beat someone somewhere along the way, or we're ahead of them rather. If only I could catch up to him, I could probably destroy him. Because after all, you can't lose a race if there's no other competitors. For right now. We are steadily in third. We are st still steadily in. We are steadily in last. All right, I made some poor decisions on this. Yeah, I can't even catch up to them unless they crash. One of them actually went above us. You get to see a bit more of the highway here. So, pro tip: don't take your uh, fire truck out on a race, especially ones that involve jumps, like this one. Oh, wow. Your Bouvier gene is clearly recessive. Let's retry. Well, that just started us from the beginning, if so, I'll cancel, and it should just set us right there. Five, 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 four. Also, I didn't even mention it. Uh, the cars we're racing are a regular sedan and a taxi, and that's actually Lisa up there in that uh, blue convertible. So, we can't hop out of the race, and uh, if we stay out for 10 seconds, then we lose. So, can I actually... What's the best car we have? Probably Honor Roller. Oh, Lectaris is... Hmm. Half, two, five. Ha two. Half, four, so... Since we need speed, I'm going to take the Lectaris. So let's... can Or... No, let's continue... Don't feel too bad, Bart. Retry mission? Yes. We'll do it with this car, or will it just respawn us with the fire truck? If if not, it doesn't matter. Five, That's what five, I wanted. Five, four. So we'll use this dinky little electric vehicle. See? Hey, its speed is much better. Be we're racing, skidding along with this guy for a second. Like that scene in Return of the Jedi with the two... Uh, Speed bikes, is that what they're called? Whatever they're called. Speeder bikes? I don't know. I'm blanking on the name. I used to know Star Wars vehicles like the back of my hand, but not anymore. Also, that was some swerving. I can't believe I managed to handle there. Yeah, so long as we do, don't do too much crashing. Almost spoke too soon. This should be better than uh, the Honor Roller because uh, it has more speed. The only issue is the handling might end up screwing us over, but hey. 
Wow, I was way behind because I was still back here with before the race ended. Oh god, make this turn. Makes this turn. Okay. Solid. Not terrible. <laughs> That's all just not terrible. Alrighty. Well, should we hop into our normal car or should we drive this around some more? Sorry about that. You might have heard me accidentally kick the table right there. But Oh, I suppose I could show off some more of the highway. There's this little exit right here that'll uh, let you take a shortcut, and s which no highway would actually do this in reality. But you come down over here, and this should just be a road that takes us straight down to to. Uh, oh no, that that's never mind. It's not the case. I was going to say it should be a road that takes us straight to uh, the area where we need to be, but that's right up here. So that's a little shortcut that you can take right there if you're trying to get this away. And there's another shortcut that you can take going the other way, but whatever. So cool. Alright, we'll now. talk mm, real quick. We'll get to him, I promise. But I want to come over here and uh, go up this jump now that we have a car that can actually accelerate. Provided I actually aim myself. It's time for some road Our Bart doors are starting to fly open, which is a little concerning. There you go. That's that's it. You can crash through the tubes just like that. Also, let's wreck this because I want to see what's in the trunk when it flies open. I... No. No, stay open. It looks like something covered up in a cloth and like a can of kerosene, maybe. It's time for something, some which is odd because this is an electric car. Or is that a pot covered in a cloth? I can't, I really can't tell. Let's open it up. And now we can take a closer look. Let's zoom in. Yeah, that's like an engine or something. And yeah, and then gasoline. Oh, I'm assuming she modif- If this is Lisa's, I'm assuming she modified the car then to be electric. That would make sense. And you can actually see under the hood there. That's interesting detail. I swear I saw Lisa driving this car. That's why I'm so adamant about it saying she with it. But let's talk to comic book guy. Before we give him a nice kick to the head. Hey, job of the fat. You know where I can get a copy of Bone Storm 2? Yes, I have no time to converse with you. I must be the first to register my disgust on the internet regarding the new McBain film. The action was dismal and the nudity was frustratingly fleeting. I barely get going. Quick, to the Fatmobile! <laughs> yes, I suppose, but must we call it that? Vox Nerduli? That's... I don't really get the name of that. I mean, I know it's a play on Vox Populi, or Vox Pop Populi, if you prefer more proper Latin. But we gotta race the nerd to the Java server, and we automatically spawn in the nerd's car, or comic book guy's car, and we're racing the nerd who's in that yellow car over there. So we'll come over here, get in front of him. I need more power. And so long as you can stay in front of him over here, then you're kind of in good shape provided you don't crash. Because this is relatively close by. Just make sure you make the right we turns over here. Comic book guy's car is another... Oh, almost made the bad decisions there. It's um another one of those cars with the translucent Whoa. roof that I thought was always supposed to be like glass see-through. But, nah, it's just translucent for your effect. Also, we went past it, didn't we? We went past it. Come to the other side. I can't believe we <laughs> scraped that. that. your quest for Bonestorm 2 is quite futile. Professor Frank posted a message on my news group, alt.furryanimals.fanfiction.net, that he has bought up all the remaining video games. Oh. I'll thank you not to moan in my mid-sized vehicle. <laughs> all right, that was so cool. Alright, so that's it for comic book guy. I don't exactly know where the nerd he was racing went, but oh well. And I don't think that nerd has a specific model either, so whatever. Yeah, the Java server grand opening. We can get him some more if you really want to. You can see like a bunch of stickers on the back of his car. That's always something I kind of thought was a little tacky, whether it be... You know, like nerd stuff. Like my brother-in-law does. 
I'm not going to complain about him, I promise. But, um... Depleting. Need sugar. But he has... It's not as uh, many as uh, comic book guys, but he still has a couple on the back of his car. But the more commonly I see is a bunch of political stickers, which, like, n no, don't do that. That's just kind of rude to everyone else that has the unfortunate... That unfortunately drives beside you. Don't do that. Let's not go over there. Now, if you want to... Uh, put a sticker representing the football team you support on the back of your car. That's fine, so long as it's the right team. And I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about, because it should be the team whose football uniform looks a whole lot like what Bart's wearing right here. You know, red and white. Like, someone who doesn't follow SEC football has no idea what I'm talking about with that. But oh well. we can. There's actually a place where we can change our outfit somewhere over here. I have no idea. Oh, in the parking lot? What? Homer? What are you doing over here? Oh, awesome, man. That was the best ride ever. Actually, I don't think you're a costume thing, so if I'm remembering correctly, you're you're someone we're going to talk to later, so I don't need to worry about that. We'll leave you over here, Homer. You and your weird self. Mine. Oh, mine. So, so, yeah, now we go to uh, the stadium, which is right over here. We did complete that race, yeah. Now, um, here's the thing. I don't know where that last card is. It might be, actually, I might know where it is. Never mind. So, I think we have kind of shown everything else there is in the other areas. So, this is kind of the, this area over here is sort of the last one that we need to do some digging in. But we'll talk to Frank. Actually, should I go change my clothes? I'm going to go change clothes at the DMV. Or the closest place. Unfortunately, there's no way you can just bring up like a map to see where the closest one is. You just kind of have to drive around and figure out. Actually, if I'm remembering correctly, the closest one is at uh, Moe's. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. We'll be over there. Alright, so we're going to buy our remaining costume, which I believe should just be, yeah, Bart in a suit. We'll go with it. Why don't we? Alright, so now that I got that out of the way, I'll meet you back, um, uh, by Frank. Also, before we actually get over there, I want to mention something real quick. I accidentally got a hit and run before starting this episode, and I had to, to avoid the police. I came this way and drived over that area right there, and then up and around this hospital. That's what I almost just accidentally did there. But, uh, there was a r trail of coins there, so, um, they should be there on your normal playthrough. Like, you, you can see it on the side over here, going uh, perpendicular to where I'm talking about. Basically, just imagine... Oh, there's the last card. But, uh, basically, just imagine it coming down this way vertically. That's where the coins were. The coins that are already on the map, they don't respawn even if you restart. Because, apparently, coins, except for those hidden in objects, just don't respawn. Period. So, keep that in mind. Anyway, we're over here at Frank, so we'll see what he has to, what he has to say. Always want to call him Frank, cause you know that's a normal name. I gotta play Bone Storm too. Give me one. No can do, my pointy-headed friend. I need the power of video game violence to run my latest invention slash monster. If you find me a World War II communication radio and a satellite, then my creation will live, and we can play with it and enjoy the frolicking. Oh, cool! Real violence is way better than TV violence. It's like a level boss come to life. Now, who would have a World War II radio? That guy that sells all those grenades to Nelson might. I better check. Bart and Frank? Okay. Go to Herman's Military Antiques to find a World War II radio for Professor Bart Frank. Alright, whatever. Follow the pizza van to Herman's Military Antiques. Why we gotta follow a pizza van, I don't know. But, uh, we, we do. So if you don't have your car right there, you basically just lost the mission already. But it's right there. And uh, the icon on the thing, it shows the surveillance vans from before, but now it's the actual pizza van with the logo on it. Let's keep that in mind. We can hop up here and just Whoa, be careful not to pass before. him. We'll fall down in front of him. Again, I don't know why uh, Bart feels the need to follow the van there, considering... Uh, considering he already knows where it is because oh god no 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 come on yeah this is the problem with the cars sometimes they get stuck Move it or lose it. 
too well. You can see it on the radar over there. You you can make it, bud. There we go. But I don't know. Are you serious? Oh, I'm going to lose because of that. But I don't know why um, Bart feels the need to follow this pizza van because he went there earlier to talk to Kearney. Oh, I guess he's purposely going slow. He's stopping at these places. That's why. And they basically uh, just have you follow this van because, at least that's in the game design world, because otherwise you wouldn't have a mission. That's why. All right. Almost there. Oh, swerving a little. All right, almost there. Got it. I think it ran over that kid. Sorry. Talk to Chief Wiggum. What? Salt the cops. Out of my way, dirtbag. Hey, Springfield's lamest. What's the deal? Didn't you hear? Herman's been robbed. Hey, you don't know who did it, do you? Because if you did, boy, that would be great. Oh, no. Now where am I going to get a radio? These fresh skid marks leading away from the scene of the crime could be a clue. But who's to say, really? Look for the thief, and he gives us an icon of a snake. I wonder why. But, uh... Yeah, we got to follow the skid marks, which are actually there in the game, but hey, we have a radar and an arrow to also, also point us this way. But if we come over here... No surprise, Snake's over here. And did he just get run over by it? That's karma, dude. Hey, Snake, what's up? Um, do I know you, little dude? I need that radio you borrowed. No way, little dude. This radio is going to help me score Boku de Chicks. Uh, last time I checked, chicks like fast cars, not vintage electronics. Why don't we race for the radio? Oh, I totally agree to your proposal. So now we gotta race Snake to the stadium, which isn't that far away, all things considered. But, uh, ooh, that, that'll slow us down. But yeah, Snake's driving his car. I think it's called the Bandit. All right, some slight spoilers for the game. You can actually get this car later on. There's something interesting to note, though. The car Snake's driving right now, even though it's the same model, is technically different in the game's files, because de depending on the mission, they want it to be fair. To be fair towards the player, and uh, if you're racing S Snake with the Bandit car he has later on, you would basically lose, because that thing's pretty good. It's a late-game vehicle. But uh, they have the stats altered right now, so... Uh, Almost there. They have the stats also right now so that it's slower and has lower acceleration. But incidentally, it has the highest toughness of any car's data in the game. That's basically so you... Collect the radio from Snake. That's basically so that you can't just destroy him and call it a victory. But that's interesting how um, all the cars are a little different. Same with Chief Wiggum earlier. His car has been modified from um, how a normal police car would drive, especially... Um, I was also telling you about the police car, the police earlier during the hit and run. They changed too. That's another thing. They're even though it's all the same police car model, they change based on uh, based on what's whatever's convenient for you. I know, like trash. So now we gotta go. Uh, mm, is that two missions? I think it's been two missions. We still got a little bit of time though. Let's finish exploring. Let's do it. Or should we? I'm gonna hold off on it. Cause I think I know something coming up later. Now the real question is what do I do now? Gimme, gimme, gimme. I don't wanna do another story mission. That would be too heavy. We already did a race right now. Let's buy this last car and take it for out, out for a spin. And we'll be in our we suit driving a limo, so it's a uh, Appropriate. Oh, I know what I can do. I can show you what happens if you cause a hit and run. Or perform a hit and run. But let's, uh, let's go murdering. Again, this limousine, it has the translucent roof. It's odd, there weren't that many cars in the first level that did that, but now there's a bunch that do. Alright, give me your pizza. 
Thank you. That didn't cause as much destruction as I thought I would, so let's ram into folks. Ram into trees, ram into people, ram into everything. Let's get the cops on my tail. Alright, one more hit'll do it. One more hit'll do it. There we go. Alright, so the cops are coming around here. They got me. Come on. Ooh, he's right on me. So you can see, he is quite a bit faster and generally has a little bit better AI than uh, the cops from before. I had difficulty uh, trying to move away from the last one, and he got me here. Or maybe he doesn't. Oh, he got me. Nope, I got it. Oh, there's our objective. There's Cletus right there. No, no, no. Um. I oh, I actually escaped him. But I just want to show that off. Again, if he finds you, it doesn't do anything different. It just responds to you and takes away 50 coins of yours. That never changes. Also, there's a fire station over here. Little way, thing to note. But we still have a little bit of time, so you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to go gamble in the first level, like I said I would. Better than beef. Alright. I would, uh... I would swear there's a level coming up soon that'll let us explore the rest of that area over there. But right now, let's, uh... Bone Storm Storm, because that'll spawn us near it. Because that'll let us, uh... Do the thing. Do the wager race. Anyways, it's going to spawn us over here with uh, Homer's car. And that's not what we're going after. Just need to come over here and talk to Gil, which I'm not going to do. That's not Gil, though. It's a dude. I don't know his name. But I want to do it with a car that you can actually properly properly get in the level, so I'll take the Lectaris even if it's smoking a little. Actually, let's... Go find a wrench somewhere real quick. I think there's one in the back over here. I didn't do it. Uh, yes, right over here. Yeah, Repair it. Now go talk to uh, Gamble Dude. Let's see what you have to say. Race four, wager race. Twenty coins versus thirty coins. Difficulty medium on the first level. Oh well. So we have to race around in uh, 315. I think we can do that. Honestly, I think it'd be more difficult going uh, in the other level to do that whole stage in two minutes, two minutes and ten seconds. This one seems a lot more doable. Especially if you know some of the shortcuts like this one. Especially if you actually do them right. No, that's not going to work. Oh, it actually would have... Well, we still got a semi shortcut. Let's just win some of the money back we might lose. Come over here. Don't swerve so hard you slap into uh, a pillar. I'm not going to risk that jump. It doesn't really save us much time. And it might save us like a few milliseconds, but whatever. Run over, folks. There's actually more folks in there than usual. That's a little odd to see. Oh, I can't believe we cleared that. We are making some tight calls over here. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. I noticed earlier that you can actually... Oh, gosh, that's solid. You can actually come over here um, to this fence and destroy it. There was a little gate there that you noticed. I had never noticed that before. I, I thought uh, once you got to that little split right there right past uh, the sign for the power plant I thought you had to go into the field properly I didn't know you could stay in the back like that still learning something new about this game all the time alright so half our time is gone I thought I would be farther along than this but oh well we might end up being fine Ooh. But yeah, I want to uh, show how you can how you can win these races with the cards you could actually properly earn in the level. So I'm not going to use any of level 2's vehicles in this one per se. And I'm not going to use any of level 3 or above's vehicles in uh, level 2. Once we eventually get around to racing that one proper. 
All right, it's worth it to back up. Maybe it w wasn't worth it to back up. Especially if you don't clear the roof. Ooh, just got a minute to get to the school. Let's... It's not going to let me take that shortcut, is it? Mm. We might have lost. No, we could take that shortcut. What the heck? It was showing over to the left on my radar. This is going to be close. Ooh, last checkpoint. 30 seconds. Mm. Yes! New best time. And so, if we try to do it again, does he go, does he make it our past best time, or is it, no, it's still the same time limit, and you don't, yeah, you don't get a bonus for beating your best time, oh well, whatever, so there's that, and uh, that'll be all for this episode, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, Bonestorm 2 out today, record currency rates ex rate expected. Makes sense. I'm pretty sure the same actually legitimately happened happened uh, back when Call of Duty was the big thing. Like when Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops released. I'm pretty sure that was the case too. Anyway, that'll be all for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.